It's funny guys, you know, I'm standing here and thinking about how I want to start the introduction of this video and I'm reminded out of nowhere of the countless number of times that many of you reached out to me asking me what I actually take with me on vacation. Not so much fragrances, but my wardrobe. Well, I actually cater my wardrobe to fragrances that I want to take with me on vacation. So if I'm picking out a specific fragrance, then I think about, okay, this is going to pair where, well with uh, XYZ outfit. You know what I mean? So I'm definitely going to be covering that today. This is definitely going to be different than what you're accustomed to seeing from, from me. I'm excited and nervous because it's a little bit of, you know, an outside the box style for me. You know, again, not typical for me. Um, one thing I, I do want to tell you guys, I take my own uh, hair care beauty products like face washes, body wash, face lotion, AM and PM, uh, face moisturizer, not face lotion, excuse me. I take my own products with me. They work for me, deodorant as well. They all work for me. I take my own products with me, put them in my dot bag and I'm good to go because I want no guessing games with my pH level and reactions to body care products that are on the shelves in, uh, in stores and things of that nature. So yeah, I bring my own uh, body products with me. And uh, aside from that, getting back to topic with today's video, I'm going to be covering six fragrances today. I have um, niche options here, indie niche also, and designer options. We have six fragrances, so I'm going to go um, niche, designer, niche, designer until we finish the video. And for you guys that are new here, my name is Dave. I cover grooming and fragrance on this channel. If you dig the vibe, subscribe, hit the like button and notification bell so you don't miss out on any future content. Guys, let's talk fragrances now. Shall we? All right, so you're going on vacation, and look, no matter if you're going on a tropical vacation, you're going to the beach, whatever, I got you, bro. I got you, okay? First fragrance that I wanna talk about is a fragrance from a brand that's most notably known for their wet shave products, right? This is by the brand Gentleman's Nod. This is Musashi. This stuff is fantastic. It opens up so bright and fresh with this I believe it's four different citrus notes you have here atop of most, uh, well, most prominent. Well, what stands out to me the most is this note, note of yuzu. It's incredible. It's a beautiful note here. I love the way that it opens up very bright and fresh, transitions into something a little bit more herbal with this jasmine and green tea extract. Well, jasmine tea and green tea extract. This is a beautiful fragrance. Yes, you have woods and other things like that going on here. A little bit of a floral touch or tinge to it if you will but man the way that the herbal tea notes are done here are just beautiful and i appreciate it it gives us something a little bit more unique and what i said to be missing in the fragrance community because we've seen other fragrances here on this channel that i love kieran nyc sunday brunch love it great wulong cha by nishane another great one love it absolutely those fragrances to me Focus more so on the post-brew or post-pour of that tea, where this one here captures the pre-brew stage. Maybe you're opening, you know, that nice tin can and you're sticking your face into that just bunch of herbaceous tea that you have there going on. That's kind of the vibe that I get here. And I'm a consumer of tea. I love tea. It's one of the most, uh, you know, I have three beverages that are my daily go-tos, water, coffee, and tea. That's it. So if you and I ever meet, that's probably what at least I'm going to be drinking. I don't know about you, but this is just a great casual to formal fragrance. I mean, this is one of those fragrances that's just going to cater to whatever situation you decide to wear this in while you're on vacation. This is a fantastic one for you to try. Great longevity. Like I said, guys, great for day or night wear. Just um, a magnificent fragrance and one that I've been loving loving lately this one launched in 2022 just a couple of months ago so there's samples on the gentleman's not website i'll link the non-affiliate link below so you could check it out definitely don't pass up on the opportunity to try musashi from gentleman's the not. next fragrance here we are going to be talking about was launched in 2019 and this one is like straight up swimming pool vibes is what i get out of this fragrance every time i smell it every time i wear it or just casually sniff the good old atomizer this is by Azzaro. This is Chrome Aqua. So I think there's C notes listed as a note here. Um, you also have Cypress. You have Basil here. There, uh, 
there is a slight herbaceous, you know, there's definitely a green feel within the fragrance, but I get straight up sitting poolside vibes um, with this fragrance. There's no chlorine accord or anything like that going on here, but the idea I get here when I smell it, oh, I just think sitting by the pool, wearing a tank top and swim trunks or a tank top and shorts, for those of you that don't like, you know, getting in the water or going near the water, Maybe you just want to scope the scenery, you know what I mean? But anyway, yeah, I get sitting by the swimming pool vibes with this. So if you are at a resort in, uh, or a hotel and you have a like, swimming pool access nearby, this is definitely one for you to check out. It's just one of those, it's just a great, refreshing, fresh type of uh, fragrance where you're going to smell fresh and just clean. And it's, it has that mass appeal factor to where you're not going to turn off anybody around you in four you know, roughly the $40 price range, maybe sub 40 if you're lucky. Definitely get your hands and your nose on this one. It's just great. Semi like Swiss army knife. Uh, no, not really, because I really wouldn't wear this one at night. I would stick to day wear on this one. So we're not going to call it Swiss army knife after all. But from Bizarro, this is Chrome Aqua. The next niche fragrance that we are going to be talking about comes from the house of Goldfield and Banks. And this one is Bohemian Lime. It reminds me of vacation because, well, it's like, it definitely is, smells like summertime, you know, but because I wore this last year when my family and I went to uh, Florida, I met, you know, shout out to you, Melly Mel, met you out there, hung out with you last year, uh, shout out to you, brother, love you, man, but yeah, this fragrance is just so good and much more interesting too um, than Pacific Rock Moss, you know, Pacific Rock, Rock Moss gets all the love from the, for um, the release from this brand, Jesus, but I definitely like this one a lot more than that fragrance. Like I said, a little bit more interesting. So anyway, getting back to this, you have this semi-sour, sweet note of uh, Australian finger lime. Very interesting note here. You also have something salty going on here. So almost like a salted rim. You like that little that little motion right there? I like it. I dig it too. Almost reminded me of a margarita. Okay, but there's no boozy accords. There's no boozy notes listed. It's just kind of you know that 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 scent memory, you know, or where it where it's where it takes your memory, the journey it takes your memory on. There we go. See what's great about unscripted work is eventually the stuff just falls into place. But yeah, where I would recommend or how I would recommend wearing this fragrance, something to what I have on now. You know, casual button down shirt definitely fits the mold. Day or nighttime here, perfect. You know, um, definitely to to capture this at its glory, at its best, you want to be near the ocean. So maybe there's a, there's an outdoor patio or deck near the uh, beach where you're staying, you know, like a restaurant or bar restaurant, something like that. And you want to pull this one out. You're wearing something similar to what I have on now, a nice pair of shorts. I would go like light blue if I was wearing a color like this because there's baby blue accents here that you probably can't see. Match the shirt to the shorts. You have a nice pair of shoes. You're wearing bohemian lime. You smell and look magnifico. Magnificent. Bohemian lime from Goldfield and Banks. Stellar stuff, guys. Definitely check it out if you haven't already. As you guys could tell, you, you see what I'm pulling out here. And that's kind of the thing when you're on vacation. You know, We don't need anything challenging. We're not, you know, breaking any grounds or anything like that. We're looking great. We're smelling great. And that's what matters most. And that kind of, you know coincides with this next fragrance it's a flanker they weren't breaking new ground i don't know why so many folks were expecting this to be the next best thing but i'll tell you what it's not the next best thing they didn't reinvent the wheel but it smells friggin great aqua de jo eau de parfum launched 2022 mineral accord in here you have br nice bright citruses so ultra fresh patchouli you would think this would go dark, but it's not. It's not a dark fragrance at all. It's a little spicy and earthy with that patchouli. It kind of, you know, combines and, and mixes with uh, with the, the mineral uh, accord. It, it sort of puts me in the, it doesn't remind me of, it puts me in the mindset in, in where I would categorize this as like the same family as uh, Whetstone from, uh, from Amouage. No, no, not from Amouage. From Amarud, excuse me there. So Whetstone by uh, by Amarud. Yeah, that's that's the correct brand there. It's kind of in that family, but whereas that tends to lean a little bit on the mature side or to where you would want to wear that at night, this is going to be perfect day or night, inoffensive, no guesswork here. You could spray it on, know that you're going to smell great, 
Know that you're going to smell fresh and clean. And that's kind of the theme. Fresh and clean. That's the theme. You know what I mean? Hey, it's just it's just a nice smelling fragrance. Like I said, not breaking any new ground. Uh, performance on this isn't bad on me. I know it's like hit or miss with some people, but I get at least six hours out of this one. Not bad. Again, this is, I'll tell you what, this is, the performance on here is so non-offensive. You could wear this to work. It's a great work scent. You know, if you like wearing things like this to work, it's it's perfect in, but really nice casual scent where you could wear it day or night. So if you wanted like a Swiss Army knife, this might do it for you. Check out Aqua de Joe Eau de Parfum, the 2022. Next fragrance here, straight up tropical vibes and a, a summertime fragrance that I will never be without. And, and honestly, this is one of the first fragrances I think of when I know summer's around the corner, even though we're already in summer right now. And that is Coco Moon by Beach Giza. 2018 launch right here. We're talking about coconut, vanilla, sandalwood. Uh, I believe it's vetiver, maybe driftwood and something else. I I can't remember everything off the top of my head with all these fragrances, okay? So I'll just explain the vibe, and then you just have to believe me. And if you don't believe me, sample it for yourself, and then you'll know. But what's all up in here is this beautiful, creamy coconut. Now, some people say they get suntan lotion vibes from this. I really don't get that. I get more of a creamy, lush kind of coconut smell on my skin, at least. That's what it gives off. There's something salty and kind of not fishy marine but aquatic you know and salty and you have this dry uh, effect that's going on here with that vetiver i've said it before and i'm going to say it now this reminds me of walking on the uh, boardwalk at nighttime when you can hear the waves crashing in the distance this is the type of fragrance that you want to wear because in the air when it's windy with the waves crashing down when the when the tide rolls in and, and you just, you get that wind and it's just kind of swooshing around you and pushing and, you know, pulling this fragrance in all sorts of different directions. This is going to grab people's attention. But let me tell you what, don't make mistakes that I've made in the past. This is like a two to three spray um, type of fragrance maximum. Okay, you don't want to overdo it with this one is my point. It's an eau de parfum concentrate, but this performs like an extra and whatever is above an X-ray, that's kind of how this performs. I don't think there's, never mind. It, you, you get the picture. It's really freaking strong, right? So two to three sprays max on this one, and you're good. And you are just going to smell like the best parts of summer. Just creamy deliciousness. And you have this salty kind of sea air breeze blowing around you. You have this kind of driftwood sort of sensation. You're just going to smell delicious you are going to feel delicious and um we better move on to the last fragrance because i don't know what kind of weird stuff is going on in my mind right now last, last. but certainly not least this might be the most underrated fragrance from the house of tom ford that everyone overlooks nobody talks about you always hear stuff about you know costa azura or the parfum or the brand new parfum because you know we want to make sure everybody keeps up with the joneses no because what happens is People keep up with the Joneses. Most times they get disappointed and then they don't go back to the house and they ignore the stuff like this that gets ignored constantly. Also, out friggin' shadowed by Neroli Portofino that's just boring at this point. This one's so much more interesting. It's Mandarino Diamalfi from Tom Ford. Straight up tropical weather vibes. That's what I get. You're gonna wear whatever you want. You wanna wear a Hawaiian shirt button down? Go for it, my man. My lady, if you like wearing Hawaiian themed shirts, my ladies, go for it. You want to wear a tank top. You want to wear a button down shirt. You do it. You want to wear a t-shirt, shorts, and a flip flops and up flip flops, whatever. We don't know what we're talking about. Go ahead and do it. This one is straight up juicy, succulent, freshly squeezed citruses in combination and blended with beautiful white florals, pillowy clouds of white musks, white clean musks. This stuff is just, it's gorgeous. It's beautiful. I love it. Admittedly, this isn't the best performer of all time. Now, I will say it's long lasting on my skin. Personally, I get six to seven hours to wear. And, and that's pretty much where like I stop noticing it or I'm going anosmic to it. It's lasting a little longer, but I will tell you projection on this, not that great. After two to three hours, it's sitting pretty close to the skin. 
for the uh, the remainder of the, uh, the the you know the the lifespan of the fragrance. That's that's pretty much just the way it is with this one. But as a smell, which is what matters to me most, smell first, everything else comes second. Now I know this one even on discounters is not cheap, and one could argue, hey, if I'm investing 150 plus dollars in a fragrance, I want it to last. I got you. I completely understand that. But at the same time, I also want it to smell great. Never have I heard anybody ever tell me this smells terrible for a summer fragrance, but it lasts nine hours. So I wear it. What? No way. So you want to talk about great smell reminds me of tropical, warm, hot climates reminds me of being somewhere where I don't have to care about anything. That is Mandarino di Amalfi from Tom Ford. Guys, don't sleep on this. If the, the price of the bottle is too expensive, completely get it. Get yourself a decant. Sample this. Understand what the hell I'm talking about. Because when I record videos, I don't always know what the hell I'm going to say. But, uh, I mean, look. Khalees Becker did perfume this, so it can't be all that bad. You dig what I'm saying? No, guys, for real. This is a great fragrance. And I just wanted to end the video for with, with something fun and energizing and uplifting. Just like my personality, you know. Because... I've been away for a little while and I missed the freaking hell out of you guys. Life has been busy. That's the end of my video. I'm going to be back soon though. But you know what? I need you guys to do me a favor. Okay? Love each other. Respect everyone. And take care of each other. Life is far too short, guys. And there's a lot of crazy stuff going on in the world. But when we unite and stand tall together, we can overcome anything. I'm telling you. Telling you that right now. You heard it here first. Because nobody else on a TV screen is going to tell you that. But your boy Dave will. So if you didn't like the content. But you like this message. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. So you don't miss out on any future content. No, but for real though. I hope you enjoyed the video. Otherwise, I, I, I'm not going to apologize. Because you watched this far. So that means you liked it. You liked it. Admit it. You freaking liked it. Let me know down on that. Let me clear my throat let me know in that comment section below have you guys already taken a vacation are you going to be taking a vacation what do you plan what fragrances do you plan on wearing on that said vacation let your boy know i'm out guys take care love you peace Woo. back baby see that